to the horror hour. Hello and welcome back to the horror hour, the place where we discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. I'm one of your hosts, George, and today I am so excited and I'm tired because it is the first episode of The Last of Us and we're going to try reacting to it. I say try because apparently Warner Brothers is going to be like, we're going to shoot you down if you try and use anything of ours. And I'm going to be like, hey, bitch, fair use. So, um, yeah, I loved this game so, so much. I recently replayed both of them and um, the DLC. Because they're just perfection. Like, it's iconic. So I am super excited to watch this today. I'm really looking forward to seeing Bella and Pedro. The rest of the cast, I'm looking forward to seeing cameos. I'm looking forward to seeing everything. (laughs) I'm just thrilled. So without further ado, we're just going to dive into it. Because I don't want to talk too much. I just expect a lot. Okay? So, um, HBO, let's not f this up okay um yeah i'm excited my headphones are on my body is ready my tea is tantalizing let's go yes a new virus in madagascar say could be in chicago within a matter of weeks and we end up with a global pandemic pan means all <laughs> too soon become sick all at once hmm. and uh, dr newman you're also an epidemiologist i presume the prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well no 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 all right, well, that's our show. <laughs> and currently, there are no reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures. But what if that were to change? What if, for instance, the world were to get slightly warmer? Well, now there is reason to evolve. One gene mutates. They said, bitch, we're going to tell you about and global warming. Cordyceps, Aspergillus, any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains and taking control, not of millions of us, but billions of us. So if that happens, we lose. <clears throat> we'll be back. Oh, do you know what? I love that game of chills. But the best, I think one of the best openings, like one. Oh! <gasps> Hold that thought. I'm probably going to have to mute all of this. <laughs> this intro is given a bit Westworld, actually. Which I liked, I have to say. Oh, you're so beautiful. Um, what I was going to say is I really like that opening, but mind you, very much similar, but not as dramatic. Um, 2003 um as the opening of i'm legend which to me is one of the best opens of like a apocalypse film like that like set in the scene with emma thompson iconic i'll bring back a cake i promise honey you'll be bringing back a virus let me tell well you won't but you know i also like that this sarah is a bit older because she kind of is about the same age that ellie is in the show so i think that it makes it more poignant when he sees Ellie rather than like her being really young, like in the game. We're done for today. It's 3.15, we close at 7. I'm very sorry, he cannot finish. She's like, I know what's going on, bye. (laughs) This is good. Hey, Mrs. Adler, could I borrow this? What's the... Let me tell you, this dog, you better run, honey. Open the door, let the dog out, let's go. Oh, she's been there, both of them. Shit. Oh my god. I am this is great. This is great. Denise, get back inside the house! You lock your doors now! Come on, come on, get in! Oh my god! This is like I'm tearing up because this is just great. Are we sick? No, of course. Oh my god, this is the treat lines from the radio. Not not me shot, but lines from the game or in the adaptation. This is what I love seeing. Yeah, I can't drive through them. 
Stop. Back, 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 back. Oh my god! I, I literally cannot get over how great this is. I know I keep saying it, but... Yes! Oh my god! This is great. Please stop. Honey. Move your head. No. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me. Joe. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Come on. Come on, wake it up. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, my lord. I remember when I played the game for the first time. Obviously, I didn't pay that much attention to the marketing. <laughs> Because I thought, I just remember going, oh yeah, it's about like this guy and this girl in the apocalypse. And I just assumed that Sarah was the girl. So then when that happened in the first five minutes, I was like, excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. But first we're going to just kill you. Just going to chuck you onto that fire. <laughs> I forgot about this bit in the game. But in the game, they're getting shot, right? They're like on their knees. Because if you like try to walk up to them in the game, the security guards are like, Keep walking, bud. Hey! Fuck. You. Hold out your... <laughs> People from Fedra, you hear me? Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Anyway, I don't know how anybody can... I mean, from that alone, that's early. So you'll need to pipe the F down. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken him more than a day to respond. I'm sure he's okay. Let me tell you. Well, I won't tell you because it's... Spoilers. <laughs> Show me where the tower is. No, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him. But I would very much like for you to hurt him. <laughs> So let's go hunt that motherfucker down and get our battery and our truck. I love Tess. I think she's great. Hey! Keep it quiet. Whatever you need. Whatever it takes. We'll get her where she needs to go. Then unlock me. How about we start with thank you? For what? For saving your life? It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. Yes, I knew your mother. You're my fucking mom or something? <laughs> and look like your mom? Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, oh my this god, that looks so good. I feel like this whole reaction just me going, that's so good, it looks so good. But it does look good, guys, so that's why I'm repeating myself. We were going to move Ellie out of the zone tonight, but we won't make it anywhere like this, not for a while anyway. So now I'm thinking, you're going to do it. The hell I'm not we going are. with them. Let me take her. Tess, we don't have time for this. Oh, you don't have time? Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people. The second we hand that kid over. Y'all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. <laughs> I love Marlene. I think she's great. Okay, here's the deal. We'll get her to your crew at the state house. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her. There and then. Deal. And it was in that moment that history began. <laughs> So who's Bill and Frank? 
<clears throat> the radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? Let me tell you. Bill and Frank. What are you doing? It's going to be iconic. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? Maybe a year. What's it matter? But you know where to go. So we're going to be okay. Oh, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What? What was the song? It kept saying, like, like wake me up before you go, go. Oh, shit. Love a bit of wham. Gotcha. Ladies <laughs> means trouble. <clears throat> Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, we're going to the thing. What the hell? Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't move! Don't move! You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> really, man? Yep, we're doing this by the book. Jesus Christ. All off. Risk my job for half oh. of your fucking mind. Fucking bitch. Get out of the fucking way. Whoa, whoa. Ali, me, Joe. <sighs> Yeah, there it is. No, 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 I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! I'm not sick. No! Look, look. This is three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. Just as look at the old you. No! <sighs> Let's go. Is it going to play? Are they going to play Take On Me like it is in the thing or is it something else? Okay. Flash of lightning in the big tower. Yes! Oh my god. This is definitely 80s. Okay, guys, so that was episode one of The Last of Us. I think it's called Out of the Darkness. That was so good. I mean, I feel like the whole thing was just me being shocked at the fact that they'd stuck so well to pretty much the opening of the game and obviously yeah there are differences and there will be differences it's an adaptation but like those parts that are based on the game are like it's not like they've gone oh we'll just half-heartedly do a little bit of the game and then make our own stuff they're like those details that are game details we're going to make sure that they are perfect and then the other stuff the new stuff that we're bringing in will be an added bonus to that i loved the opening i love seeing more of sarah and and seeing a bit more of pre pre the the fungi infection i thought it was really good to have her aged up like i said that so she's a similar age to what ellie is here because then it kind of makes it a bit more meaningful rather than her being younger which she was in the game i, I loved seeing i mean just again just seeing those those sections from the game that are so iconic to see them on screen what 10 years after the first game first came out is it's crazy and I just can't wait to see the rest of this series I'm like so excited I thought that everyone did an, an amazing job Pedro Bella was brilliant um and I really hope that people do get behind her for some reason don't like she doesn't look like her Ellie was based off Elliot Page and he was pissed when <laughs> when he found out that they'd used his likeness and i didn't think he was going to come on this show so and i know every, then of course they did change the look of the model to be more like ashley but she is she is ellie like the way that she it, it's ellie so let's i really hope that people stop going on about it because it's like really 
I just wish people would stop going on about it. So, yes. But, I mean, I loved it all. Tess, Marlene, everyone, Tommy, like, all the... It, there's just so much in there. And I'm going to try and avoid not spoiling things because there may be people that have never played the game before, which is shocking to me. But I suppose there's a lot more people that haven't played the game that probably have played the game that might watch this show. I don't know. Maybe I'm intrigued. Let me know in the comments below if you haven't played the game and you're watching this for the first time, like, with not any real idea of, of the story i'm i'm intrigued about that but yeah overall wow great first episode i'm glad that it was like a feature length episode i'm looking forward I think there's nine episodes in total right so i'm looking forward to seeing where this goes i mean that was like just the first 20 minutes of gameplay maybe a little bit more maybe half an hour maybe no no Maybe, maybe the first, uh, no, definitely the first hour. I mean, it depends how fast you play the game. But like, that is just the beginning. So I'm so excited to see the rest of this series. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you'd like to follow us on social media, we are at the Horror Hour TV on Twitter and Instagram. You can also check out our Patreon in the description below. We have tiers starting from $1, which include access to our After Hours podcast, early access to things, and so much more. And yeah, until next time, bye guys. You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.